if you are using the Vinci Resolve video editor on a Linux based computer or let's say this Ubuntu based computer then I'm pretty much sure you already having some problem about importing the videos or the files into the Vinci Resolve because the Vinci Resolve on a Linux based computer doesn't support .mp4 video file format importing and editing on this DaVinci Resolve application or video editor. So in this case what you need to do you have to convert your videos to a supported file format which you can import into DaVinci Resolve then edit it. So in this video I came up with a solution for this problem. Basically in this video I am going to introduce you with a very useful video converter application which both support Windows, Linux and Mac operating system and it also comes with graphical user interface and the converter name is shutter encoder. I am using this shutter encoder application to convert all of my videos so that I can edit them in my DaVinci Resolve video editor in this Ubuntu computer. So in this video I am going to show you how to download it, how to install it and how to use it to convert your videos to a supported video format for your DaVinci Resolve. So further ado let's get started. But before that if you need to this channel then please do subscribe this YouTube channel and if you have already subscribed then thank you so much. So first of all open up any of your favorite browser and search on Google Shutter Encoder. Then visit to this first website shutterencoder.com and here is the converter look like what we are going to install to solve our problem. Now to download this application click on downloads and here you can see this video converter is available both for Windows, Mac OS and Linux also. So as I am using this Linux based computer which is Ubuntu 22.04 so I am going to download this Debian package from here. Using this shutter encoder application we can easily convert our video file into any file format we want. Okay. Now go to your downloaded folder. And here you can see I have the Debian file of this Shutter Encoder. Now to install this Shutter Encoder application using this Debian package, right click here and open a terminal. Then type here ls and here you can see the file name. Let me fully screen this terminal and zoom it a little bit. Now type this command sudo app install dot slash then type this file name. Then press enter. Now give your root password and press enter. So you can see this application is now installed on our computer. Now we can close this terminal. Now to open this shutter encoder, click on this show application and search for the shutter encoder application. Then click on this icon and it will open up the shutter encoder for you. Now first let me show you the problem what you might get using the Vinci Resolve. Then I'll show you how you can solve your problem using this shutter encoder. So let's open my DaVinci Resolve in our Ubuntu computer. Then I'm going to open this untitled project. Now if I go to my home directory, here you can see I have a file named DIYproject.mp4. And now if I try to import this file in our DaVinci Resolve, you can see it get imported. But if I try to edit this file, you can see the video is gone. So this is the problem you might get if you try to import any videos recorded using the mobile phone or the DSLR camera which comes in .mp4 format. Now let me show you how to solve this problem. So let's delete this file from this DaVinci Resolve. Now I am going to open the shutter encoder. Then from here click on browse. Go to your home directory and select your mp4 files. Then click on open. Now click on this choose function option. And here you can see all the formats what you can use to convert your video files. From all of this file format you have to select this file format DNX HD. Then click on start function and it will convert your mp4 file into a .mov file. Okay, now again if I go to my home directory, you can see I have a new file generated with the .mov file format. Now if I try to import this file in our DaVinci Resolve, you can see the file has been imported and now if I drag it on the timeline, you can see now I can edit it. So like this using this shutter encoder tool or application you can easily convert your videos file format so that you can import it on your DaVinci Resolve video editor and edit it. So guys that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoy this video then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And guys if you need to this channel then please do subscribe this YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I'm Mehdi Shakil. You are watching this tech tutorial and I'm signing out.